This study is extremely popular and extremely important, but there's a hidden data point that many people don't recognize. This study looked at participants' energy intake following an ultra-processed food diet or an unprocessed food diet. As you may infect, the ad libitum energy intake, which is eating as much food as your appetite drives you to, was about 500 calories greater in the ultra-processed food diet than the unprocessed food diet. Despite the meals that they were giving them being matched for calories, energy density, macronutrients, sugar, sodium, and fiber. Therefore, it's more than likely that it's simply the degree of processing of these foods that made them less satiating, causing the participants to overeat. And in the end, the ultra-processed food diet gained about 0.9 kilograms, and the unprocessed food diet lost about 0.9 kilograms on average. But here's the part that most people miss. If you extrapolate this to the day, the weight loss amounts to about 220 calories per day of a caloric deficit in the unprocessed food diet to amount for the 0.9 kilograms of weight loss. However, when measured, these participants' energy intake was about 116 calories greater than their energy expenditure. Therefore, on paper, it looks like these participants were actually losing weight in a caloric surplus. However, this difference can be almost completely explained due to the decrease in the amount of metabolizable energy within the unprocessed food diet. It's been shown that per gram of total or insoluble fiber intake, the amount of metabolizable energy, which is the amount of energy that you can absorb from your food, decreases by about 7.2 calories. Any 46 grams of fiber per day amounts to about 330 calories simply lost in the digestive tract, which can almost perfectly explain why on paper, these participants were in approximately a 116 calorie caloric surplus, but their weight loss would indicate that they were in approximately a 220 calorie per day caloric deficit. A positive energy balance of 116 calories minus about 330 calories of unmetabolizable energy brings these participants almost perfectly to a 220 calorie deficit, which essentially fully accounts for their 0.9 kilogram weight loss. The last thing I will mention is that these groups were actually matched for fiber, but the soluble fiber supplement does not consistently affect metabolizable energy. Therefore, those on the ultra-processed diet ate more and very likely absorbed more of their calories. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.